to this webinar. Advantech has launched the full range of enclosures designed for the many embedded boards we have in our portfolio. My name is Jay Xiu and I am the European Product Sales Manager for our industrial motherboards. In this video, I would like to introduce our enclosure solutions for our mini IT exports. It becomes really easy to tailor a system with our off-the-shelf mini IT exports and it gives you access to a custom off-the-shelf solution that fit your requirements. For starters, we have the following form factors in industrial motherboards. We have mini ITX and UTX uh, for mobile CPU. These are BGA, BGA type mini ITX boards. With uh, UTX, you have half the size of mini ITX but keep 80% of the features. The key selling points of mobile CPU platforms is the low TDP, the extended temp temperature range support, and it can be a fanless system. For desktop CPUs, we have both mini ITX as well as micro ATX boards. These are socket type boards and it focuses more on the higher performance and also the capability for expansion for micro ATX. For UTX, we have a dedicated enclosure. It's a fanless and white temp uh, feature makes it extremely suitable for harsh environments. For micro ATX, uh, which you can see on the right uh, bottom corner, uh, most customers that go for micro ATX focus on specific markets like medical, ATM, uh, instrumentations. And for these markets, most customers will design the chassis by themselves due, due to uh, specific requirements on the ID or specific features that they want to have. So for micro ATX, the system design, uh, we only provide the design in service instead of having a standard enclosure. So the main focus of this webinar will be the introduction to the mini ITX enclosures that you can see in the middle part of the slide as well as in the top right corner. For example, the, ben the benefits of these enclosure solutions uh, I will use AMB T1000 as well as AMB B2000 um, as, as, as the example and each has clear benefits compared to the other. With AMB T1000, it can accommodate our thin, uh, thin coastline mini ITX boards. And because it's a uh, thin coastline, many of the connectors of these boards are on board uh, rather than being on the coastline. Uh, as a result, it's quite difficult for, uh, for a customer to find a third party enclosure that can fit these boards perfectly. So, a customer needs to design either an enclosure from scratch or they could take one of our off-the-shelf uh, off enclosure solutions. For AMB B2000, it's suitable for all our mini ITX boards. Plus, it has the option for an expansion on PCI Express. Starting with AMB T1000 for thin uh, coastline AIMBs, if we look at the design, uh, it's quite straightforward. It's quite simple, but uh, efficient, the, the me uh, mechanical design. It's very easy to release the top cover. Uh, and after re you release the top cover, you can access memory and the storage to, to build the system. If you release the bottom cover, you can access the mini PCI Express slot. And also, uh, you have the option to uh, access the fan, uh, fan holder, and also the I.O. brackets is interchangeable. So depending on which board you want to uh, use in this enclosure, we will change the I.O. bracket. With this simple mechanical structure, you can imagine the, 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 the good cost structure here. So you can really take the advantage of a, a local uh, assembly to configure w based on the same enclosure different types of configurations. 
So the AMB T1000 takes the advantage of a mini ITX design, but it has only uh, 43 millimeters of height and it can accommodate uh, a 40 millimeter fan. So it fits even a one use solution. So with ex excellent expansion capability on top of uh, the motherboard coastline, there are six COM ports and USB uh, expansion for, uh, for example, uh, uh, camera solutions, keypads, card readers, uh, card readers, coin collectors, printer connections. So you can have, uh, for instance, a kiosk uh, solution based on this uh, enclosure. And you have uh, the option to, to add four antennas uh, for up to two mini, uh, mini PCI Express cards, which can be Wi-Fi, 3G, uh, or 4G. So it's quite flexible in that sense. And also, it can accommodate the three uh, boards um, that you can see here, AMB215, AMB225, as well as AMB231. So one enclosure for three different uh, uh, boards for three different types of markets. If we use uh, the 215 as an example, the, uh, the part number would then uh, be named AMB T1 for the enclosure, 215 for the board that is inside. The AMB215 is a Bay Trail Mini ITX board. Um, and if we look at the main highlights here, um, we, we can see, uh, first of all, the, the thin um, uh, enclosure that can fit one new environment. And the base is two, uh, 25 centimeters uh, by 21 uh, centimeters. So it's really a small enclosure. You have multiple IO expansion, uh, both in front as well as in the back. It's easy to integrate and it's a fanless system. Uh, and the fanless system doesn't require any expensive fanless thermal solution. So we, we really have a cost-effective solution here. So the compact design combi uh, combined with the rich I.O. from Baytrill makes it suitable for various markets. If we look at the thickness uh, and the, the, the display uh, capability uh, on Baytrill, you can uh, imagine that, that this solution is suitable for uh, flight information system or digital signage. The fact that it has rich I.O., you can imagine it's uh, highly suitable for kiosk and vending market, ATM market, machine automation. And the fact that it's fanless, uh, you can imagine it's uh, highly suitable for uh, environments with uh, low noise requirement. For instance, uh, audio mixing or medical instrumentation. In the same sheet metal outlook, we have developed both a fanless system uh, as well as a fan system for non-harsh environments. For the fanless SKU, we have designed a 28 millimeter height CPU heat spreader to conduct the CPU heat to the top cover. If you go for a fan solution, you can add a 40 millimeter fan. If it's a fanless uh, SKU, uh, there are uh, two ventilation uh, holes. If it's fanned, we will uh, cover one up, so all the all the uh, airflow will go th uh, is more concentrated. And if you go for a fan-based solution, it can support uh, operation temperature from zero to fifty, while a fanless solution is suitable for zero to forty. Our test was done uh, with a uh, HDD drive, but if you go to an SSD, then the operating temperature will be slightly higher compared to this one. Next to that, uh, we have rich solution for mounting. You have, can either, either have a wall mount solution, a visa mount solution, DIN rail solution, or even a rack mount solution. So by adding different types of mounting kits, you can uh, mount the AMB T1000 in different uh, types of environments. So to summarize the compa uh, compelling features of the AMB T1000, 
For starters, it can accommodate different types of uh, motherboard with different um, uh, CPU platforms, uh, different uh, graphical performance, uh, different IOs. So for sure, there will be something that can fit your requirements. The enclo uh, enclosure is a straightforward sheet metal, so really e uh, economical. We have done already shock and vibration tests, uh, EMC tests. It's all certified for CE and FCC. There are some uh, uh, LEDs in, in the front, so you can see uh, system f uh, how the system is going. The mechanical design is optimized. So with the small enclosure, you still have very rich I.O. and also uh, very well heat con uh, conduction. Let's move on to AMB B2000. The AMB B2000 is more scalable solution. If we go and look at the, uh, the, the, the dimensions, first of all, it's 98 millimeter high, so it's uh, more than twice the height of the AMB T1000. And with, with this height advantage, you can easily put any of the Advantech mini ITX boards inside uh, and exchange the I.O. bracket by yourself. So it can accommodate all the mini ITX boards that we have. Uh, and also it has one expansion slot for uh, a, a low profile mini, IT, uh, mini PCIe slot. Let's look at uh, AMB B2000. From the front panel, what do we see? We see there are reserved uh, slots for USB four times, COM port four times, uh, for uh, Wi-Fi or 3G antenna two times, new reserved openings. Uh, you have also an optical drive. You see uh, LEDs for uh, power and HDD, uh, and also a reset button and a power, power switch. And also you can see the, the height. It's 98 uh, millimeter height in height, so it's double the, the height of the AMB T1000. As a result, uh, because of the, the height, it's easy to integrate any of the Advantech Mini ITX ports inside. There's no mechanical conflict. Uh, the I.O. brackets uh, that we provide is standard, so you can easily do the integration. But there are two different SKUs for AMB B2000. One is uh, for uh, uh, motherboards that require an uh, ATX power supply. And the other one is um, suitable for motherboards that can use the DC jack to and a power adapter. Uh, one remarkable thing compared to AMB T1000 is that it has reserved a low profile opening for an add-on card. If we look at the enclosure itself, uh, same as with AMB T1000, it's quite straightforward, just sheet metal. Um, and due to the size, uh, the, the, the op uh, optional mounting kit is uh, a wall mount uh, kit. So with a wall mount kit, you can um, mount this uh, enclosure or your system next to or close to uh, the, the, the monitor of the application. To summarize the compelling features, uh, it's uh, at one hand similar to uh, AMB T1000 in the sense that we have done CE and FCC. Uh, there are, there, it's quite flexible in terms of storage. Uh, you have space for 2.5 inch HDD, SSD, and also uh, optical uh, disk drive. Uh, you have uh, in the front, you have all the uh, LED indicators for system fault detection. Uh, it has passed uh, ESD tests. The enclosure is also quite economical, uh, simple sheet metal. You have rich I.O. So besides the I.O.s that you have uh, on the coastline of the motherboard, you can expand the onboard USB uh, and onboard COM ports to the front. And we have done shock and vibration tests. 
If we look at um, the AMBB 2000 for application scenarios, uh, there's one um, uh, um, application that we have won uh, in the UK market with this enclosure in combination with AMB 274. And we have done some uh, customization to accommodate 12 USBs. Uh, the reason for so many USB ports on this solution is uh, the application is an ATM uh, machine. And on an ATM machine, you, you require quite a lot of peripherals like a printer, a keypad, a cash dispenser, card reader, camera, and so forth. And also even uh, USB uh, reserved for um, a, a, an engineer if it needs to do uh, maintenance or repair. Uh, next to that, because it can accommodate, uh, AMBB 2000 can accommodate all the mini IT exports. If we combine it, for instance, with AMB 226, which is uh, an AMD uh, Bold Eagle platform, the AMB uh, 226 can accommodate four independent 4K displays. So you can imagine you can build uh, a system that can drive uh, for independent 4K content. And on top, you still have uh, the USB, you, know, you still have the, all the other connectivities to build your either uh, signage solution or gaming solutions. That comes to the end of this uh, short introduction. For more questions and inquiries on our enclosure solution for mini ITX, please contact your sales or myself for further information. Thank you for your time.